So, in case you missed yesterday's video, Secret Invasion not doing so well in viewership. It's pretty low, actually. Uh, it's the second lowest Disney Plus Marvel property so far, right up there with Miss Marvel, which is surprising because Nick Fury is a little bit more well-known than... Kamala Khan. A lot of people just have no idea who she is because she's never been a popular character. She's kind of been artificially propped up in the comics. And by that, I mean none of her series sell, so they just constantly reboot it to a number one. This gets it back into the sales charts for like a month, and then it just quickly goes away again. They have to constantly reboot it. I think it's been rebooted at least six times. I want to say 8 to 12, but I'm not so sure about that. I'll say for sure at least 6 since her inception. So I wasn't shocked, honestly, when I saw the low viewership for that show. But for this one, I was a little bit surprised because, well, people seem to show up for these shows no matter what, regardless. And like I said, look at the difference between this show and the other ones. Like, She-Hulk still had 1.5 million people tune in for the first one or two episodes. And then it quickly fell off a cliff because the show was awful. Same with Hawkeye, WandaVision, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, a Moon Knight I don't remember, and Loki I don't remember if those numbers held. Pretty sure Loki's probably held because that was the first one. So... I think the damage is done to Marvel. I think a lot of people are just tuning out of Marvel because let's be let's be honest. Most of the stuff that they've put out has been absolutely awful. Awful. So I mean, you're seeing it in real time. But let's go to Twitter. I'm sure some people out there have the answers on how to save Marvel. How do we save Marvel? Oh, how about a uh, a man-on-man relationship with uh, Samuel Jackson's Nick Fury and Ben Mendelsohn's character? Oh, that would do it. Why can't two dudes just be friends? <laughs> Why can't two dudes just be friends? Why can't two women just be friends? You're not allowed to have that in media anymore. The shippers... Uh, they get into everything now. Now they're pretty prominent in the media. And this is what we see. A demand for this. Something nobody is asking for. Nobody is asking for this. I don't even want to see Nick Fury in a relationship, to be honest. He should be devoted to his mission and his work. Too much so that no one would ever want to stay with him. Kind of like Batman. Batman, the closest thing he's ever been able to find is Catwoman, and he can't get her to settle down because she's always out stealing shit. She always goes back to being a villain. That can't work. So nobody nobody wants this, and nobody wants the show in general. But the reason I wanted to talk about this is because this came across my Twitter desk and I got to tell you, this is kind of funny. Because all of the toting that these people do about how they want, they want guns banned and all of this shit, here they are on set shooting things down. So apparently, Marvel Productions have guns on them in case drones hover over the sets. Is this a common thing in Hollywood? And why are they allowed to just do this? Because I don't know. I don't know what it's like in L.A. I looked up. I don't know where. So I'll go. Let me get into what's going on for Samuel Jackson. In a recent interview, he's been doing a few of them. Uh, claims that at least two drones hovering over the set of Secret Invasion were shot down by Marvel. 
And I have no reason to not believe him on this. This is probably 100% true. So I was, first thing that came across my mind when I read this is where was his shot? So where was Secret Invasion filmed? This is from the Digital Fix. Uh, This is so far the best one that I could find, the best website I could find with proper locations. And here is the list. So apparently they shot it in Moscow. Oh, at least one scene. I don't know. I, that can't be true. I think they recreated that using a, a set or something. This is the complete list of locations. You see how Moscow's not in here? That's why I wonder what's going on. Bunch of places in the UK. But they also shot in Atlanta, Georgia, and Los Angeles, California. Uh, so I don't know what laws are like in the UK. With guns, uh, they're a lot more, uh, you can't even, I don't think you can even really own them unless it's like what, like some kind of like super restrictive hunting rifle or something in the UK. I don't know anything about their laws. Uh, but in the U.S., you're usually not allowed to just fire into the air. Like, And why are they allowed to fire at civilian property? So... They shot these drones down that were hovering over the set. And you're allowed, as far as I know, you're allowed to fly drones as long as there's no airspace restrictions. So if Marvel has an airspace restriction, are they allowed to just shoot down property? I mean, there's a reason you're not allowed to fire so... For example, there's a reason you're not allowed to fire warning shots in a in a populated area. Like you can't just live in town or like a populated area and start shooting into the air because if like that falls down, it could hurt somebody. And like there's reasons for it. Like it can do damage. And I'm I'm sure it's it's not super likely, but. I'm just saying that there's reasons you're not supposed to just go out and shoot bullets into the air. But they're allowed to go and hit these drones, which I thought was interesting. It kind of shows you the power of, like, Hollywood and and money and, you know, grease and wheels and stuff. So they're allowed to just go shoot shit. Cops don't even get called. They can just shoot down drones. Do they even have to call the police? I know it's he, he thought this is a cool story. But it just made me ask a a lot of questions. Why are they allowed to do this? If a drone flies over my house, then can I go outside and shoot it down? A quick Google search says that I'm not allowed to do this. Now, I'm sure this is varied from state to state, maybe, but it's probably not. I'm willing to just guess that it's probably universal. Like this one right here, uh, taking down a drone could constitute destruction. Destruction of personal property. Even if a drone is in your neighbor's backyard, you are not allowed to legally, you are, you are not allowed to destroy, even if it's taking pictures of you. But here's the general one right at the top. From Cult of the Drone, no, even if someone is breaking the law by flying a drone in a prohibited space or is invading your privacy by flying too close to your home, you are not allowed to shoot it down. If you shoot down a drone, you could face lawsuits and even be in prison for up to five years. So funny how Marvel's allowed to just break whatever rules they want. Really shows you the difference between elites and their privilege and what me and you get. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter 
over here. I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.